Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. Today's video, I want to kind of focus this in on beginning teams. Actually, all teams can kind of get something out of this video. What I want to do is, I hope you guys enjoyed that video where you saw all the missions done on Cargo Connect with that little robot educator. But, you know, I was doing missions just one by one. So, I think a lot of you teams know, hey, it's going to be better if we go out and do multiple missions. And so for my beginning teams, if you guys want to kind of visualize how it would look like if you guys can combine your missions, so that way when your robot goes out, it's not just coming back so much. You can actually get a lot of missions done, um, you know, in a short amount of time and get a lot of points before your robot comes in. Because when your robot comes in, you know, you're wasting a lot of time with programming, you know, like finding that program, putting an attachment on possibly. So the longer it stays out there, the more points it's going to get and the more time you would save. So if you want to see some of these missions that I have kind of combined for you to see like, oh, that's a good idea. I'll show that to you in a second. He now Lego Robotics. Oh, yeah. Okay. So again, today, what I want to do is take you to that game board, the robot game for uh, Cargo Connect and let you kind of visualize the board. Now, the one thing you got to keep in mind, and I'll leave you the link at the end of this video to a video that I did where I kind of broke down, uh, I, don't, I forgot what board it was, either hydrodynamics into orbit, but I broke it down by section and by points. And you can do the same thing this year, where you can take a look at the board, just cut it into four sections, look at the points and figure it out for your team. Hey, where's a good section of the board to go to? Obviously, the closer the better, but with your robots and sensors and everything like that, you know, you can pick and choose. But today, what I want to do is just focus in on missions that seem to be in the same area where you can pick up multiple points before your robot comes back to home. So let's go to the board, okay? Okay, everybody, for this first combo, I love the upper part or the upper left part of this game board here. Uh, we have your hinge container. We have the load cargo plane here, and we have the switch engine. Love these models right there in this corner. So let me tell you what the plan is. The plan is going to be to go to this unload the cargo um, and hopefully get the cargo to come out. This will go all the way down for tw uh, the 20 plus the container coming completely out for 10, so 30. The switch end will flip over for 20 and then bring this into the home to get filled up for the 30 points. So we're looking to get 80 points right in this corner right here that's so close to the launching area. Okay, let's go to the plane first and get these points for the container right there. Sometimes if you're lucky, it can pop out farther like that. And then we'll come over here to the switch engine. Yes, right there. And then we're going to come and bring this blue hinge container back into home. Yes. Okay, so let's go over the points. And we got lucky on that one. So we'll take, that's 30. Because the door is all the way down and that's out. That's 20 right there. So that's 50. And then we brought this home. And come on, who can't fill that up right there? So that'll be worth 30. So if we can do the math, 30 and 30 is 60 plus the switch engine. We got 80 points just in that one mission. Okay, guys, for the next combo, we're going to take the food package from the airdrop, a gray container, your innovative project model, and we're going to be going over to the bridge. So what I plan to do is put these three items into the cargo connect circle and then we'll take care of the bridge while we're here. So let's take a look at the points. Uh, this will be 10 into that circle. This will be another 10, so 20. This is 20 also, so that's 40. And then for each bridge will be 10. So that'll give us 60 if we can be successful with that. So let's check that out.
Okay, so let's go ahead and add up the points. So there's 10 and 20, so that's 20. Your <clears throat> innovative project, that's gonna be another 20, so there's 40. The package is worth 10, so that's 50. And then this container, I consider that in. So that's gonna be, let's count that again. So 10, 20, 40, and then 60. So 60 points right there. Um, yeah, some of you might be thinking, could I have done one of the, you know, the platooning truck? Could have, but I didn't kind of want to mess up the line here. And you know, when you're dragging things like that, it kind of throws your robot off. So that could have been an idea for the platooning truck right there. But 60 points right there, not too bad. And look how close everything is. Okay, guys, so there you have it. Being able to take missions and just, you know, consolidate that into a single program now where your robot can be picking up points as you guys might get something else ready. Some of you can be filling up that unused capacity while that robot's still out there. So what we're trying to do today is buy time for your robot and your team to get those points, not have that robot come back so often so that way, you know, you're not wasting that time. I would highly encourage you guys, every time I have my teams practice their robot game, I time everything. I time how long the robot stays out there. I time how long the, the, you know, the students or the technicians take in base. And what we want to do is every practice just start to limit how long that robot's staying in, in home, how long the students are taking to do those attachments because we know the longer that robot stays out there, the better, the more points, and the less time wasted. So it's a game, it's the strategizing. So for those of you that think, oh, we'll just let the robot go out, and go out there and kind of do its thing, you guys have to strategize. Just like chess, you can't just randomly think. You got to think ahead, plan ahead, think, you know, three or four or five moves ahead. Same thing here. We just have to plan and be wise with our time, be wise with where the robot's moving to, and... Hopefully, you'll get better at this. You know, we're always hoping to get better, right? Okay, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Seals Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys, take care.